Okay, so today is the time for. No, I'm forgetting if it was my. I think this was my plum tree. Yes, this is plum tree. And I'm gonna prune it today. That's the base. And you see, I've cut it last year. So there's nothing I want here to be grown for the center to be open. Just again, in a pot, huge pot. And that's one branch coming out, divided into two here. And this one goes here, divided into two. That one goes here and divided into two. And they're very upright, tall. So that's one thing. The other branch goes up till here, divided into two here, and that's it, done. So first again, from top to bottom and from out to inside. Let's talk about the one facing south. I'm just gonna get more sunlight, too thin. So that has to be gone, right next to the stem. Too thin, it has to be gone. Uh, make a cut so that the rain water doesn't go in, doesn't come lit here. Now these are two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So I will just keep twelve. And the top goes away again, forty-five degrees of angle, top to bottom. Same here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 45 degree of angle, top to bottom, cut. So now these two look equal, and they're going to go in different directions. So coming from south, one is going east and one is going west. Perfect. And now let's look at the one facing towards north. See, they're very tall, and the redwood is here, which is going to give fruit. This here. It's a bit brownish, so this is going to grow leaves, new shoots. So I don't want much fruit, as I said. So let's see. I uh, will just cut it from here, keeping 10 to 12 notes as usual. Top to bottom. Bye bye. It's not a clean cut, so let me do it again. One more down. And this one is perfect. So I'll get to the same height and get a cut here. I don't want to grow it, to grow it taller so that I could easily spray anything if they get diseased and picking fruit would be easier. Yeah, it's brutal. It's not a clean cut, so I have to make one more. I don't know what would happen to my pruners. Ah, this one is a clean cut. It has to be clean because then the plant takes less energy. So, the so one going towards north is distributed in here, towards south, parallel to this one, and towards west. So, it's not going to affect anything. So, the southern one is also divided into two more. This is, see, bent a lot. So this is not going to bear fruit and stay erected like this. It's going to be not. So that one goes halfway down. Now probably this is still the 90 degree angle. It should be 45 degrees. I will give it a chance. If it's loaded with fruit too much, snap. This one is too upright. It's also not going to sustain. So I would have to give it just the four types of fruit and clean cut. There we go. So the peach, oh sorry, the plum tree is fully pruned. That's it. 